Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So you've probably noticed that things look a little bit different here in my studio. That's because I have this big blue blanket hanging up behind me. Now the reason that I've done this is because I get emails all the time, all the time, asking about how to record vocals um, and creating acoustic baffles and sound booths and uh, vocal rooms and vocal booths, all that kind of stuff. So I figured I could come up with a system for, you know, you guys at home. This is a really cheap and extremely effective method uh, for recording vocals, acoustic guitars, um, any really acoustic instruments in general, particularly for hip hop and rap. This is going to be great for you. What this really does is block the sound and cancel out as much as we can of the room reverberation that's natural to every room that you're in. What happens is, you know, when I'm speaking, the sound comes in here to the microphone, obviously, but a lot of it goes past the microphone, hits that wall in front of me, bounces back, hits the wall behind me, and then returns this direction, meaning that it's going to interact with the microphone a second, third, fourth time, depending on the size of the room, the volume of whatever you're recording, all those things come into play there. But what this baffle does is actually block the sound or is a considerable amount of it from coming back this direction. So what you end up with is a nice, um, very dry kind of tone. You don't get a lot of room sound. Um, it's a lot easier to mix sounds that have been baffled. Um, so anyway, let me talk about the baffle that I've made. So this uh, blanket here, you know, I spent a lot of time researching online, probably you have too, and I came across the by packing blankets method. So I bought a packing blanket and I thought, well, it looks good, it feels good, it is good, a little bit too thin. So I'll tell you, this was a $15 blanket over at U-Haul. U-Haul is an American company. I don't know if, how many places they are in the world, but if you don't know, this is sort of like a, a place for moving, your, you know, if you're moving to a new house and you wanna drive your own truck and move all your own stuff, you go to U-Haul. Um, so this is a packing blanket. Um, now, I have two of them. As you can see, if I pull this one back, I bought two of them. This top one's $15. This bottom one, $5. I will say, oh, and it just fell off its hook. And <laughs> I will say, um, this one is basically made out of dryer lint. So if you're wearing a black sweater like I am today, try not to touch this thing. Um, but it does work really well for this purpose. Um, now, how did I hang it from my ceiling? I'm going to come over there, pick up the camera, and show you. All right. So as you can see now... I have it hanging from the ceiling with hooks. The hooks that I used, um, I bought at Home Depot. They're about $6 for the box. Um, and then I also at Home Depot bought the curtain rings right there. Those are regular curtain rings. And as you can see, they clip onto the blanket and then attach to that hook at the top. Now, if you see the little plastic tab hanging out of the side of the hook, um, if you want to remove these, you just yank on that tab and the thing pops right off and it leaves no marks on your ceiling. It's really great. And they're, you know, like I said, five or six bucks at Home Depot and they work perfectly for this application. Now you can also see that I have it in a U shape, um, which is really key. And let me talk about that a little more. Let me put you down here. Um, basically, you know, the U shape, I want to talk about the microphone pickup pattern. This is, um, you know, the CO1U. So it's basically doing something like this, coming around like that. So what I do is I have the microphone, really, the, the band at the side of the microphone, and this works with any microphone, you know, condenser microphones, dynamic microphones. You want it to be inside the baffle, basically. So I have it lined up with the edge of the blanket here. So basically, whatever it's picking up is inside the baffle area, and that is absolutely essential. You can be closer or farther away. You know, this is going to be an experiment for you as well, um, especially with your proximity effect to your microphone, you know, how close, how close, or how far you are from the thing. Um, the baffle is going to take a lot of the sound coming back and just absorb it. It's going to be really beneficial to your recordings, I hope. Um, now, let's see. I don't think I need to say anything else. This is, you know, a really cheap do-it-yourself acoustic baffle. You know, the thing costs 30 bucks. I actually am going to start hanging more hooks on the ceiling on my studio here. And that way I can sort of, you know, I record acoustic guitars over here. I record piano here, voices also here. Um, I have a Hammond organ. I have all this stuff. So the baffle is going to be really handy uh, for certain types of recordings. And I'm going to make it so I can move it around. So Feel free to steal that idea too. Uh, anyway, I hope that answers a lot of questions on how to record vocals. This is a great way to start by 
building one of these things. It's really cheap, looks really cool, and uh, very effective. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.